Yo, what's going on guys? It's your boy Paddy Kills here. I am back with a brand new video. Today's gonna be my playoff predictions uh, video and I'm very excited to make this video. Obviously, as you guys know, uh, I always do this every year. So drop a like, let's go for 20 likes on this video. Subscribe channel for guys. Yeah, I want, I want you guys to tell me uh, your predictions, who you guys think is gonna uh, you know, move on to the second round, who you guys think is gonna win the cup. And I obviously have the in-depth ESPN as well up here too, just to like see the matchups even better for you guys. Um, but obviously, I have Calgary beating Colorado in a quick six games. Uh, if we look at this, um, Calgary has swept the Avalanche this year in their matchups, winning some... I mean, there were some close games, like 6-5 and 3-2, but I feel like the Flames will win uh, in a six-game series um, against the Avalanche. And next up, San Jose Vegas. Now, looking at this, basically, you look at Game 1, they played Vegas 1-6-0. Game 2, San Jose 1-3-2. Game 3, 7-3, 4-3. So... Looking at this kind of stuff, both of them are literally tied. Um, both of them are tied in the regular series, uh, which it shows you that both teams are capable of winning. It's definitely going to be a tough series. And I'm a, like, you know, if Mark Andre Fleury played like he did last year. I, I, it's, I don't know. I, I feel like I want to go with Vegas just because of last year, but I'm going to go with San Jose. Uh, I don't know. This is such a tough series. It's so tough because of the goaltending like like let's just like ignore like the forward group and the defensive group because san jose they're not really a good defensive team while vegas is a really good defensive team san jose is a good offensive team vegas is like a top 10 a uh, defense top seven defensive team san jose is like a top six offensive team in the league um and it's all going to come down to goaltending and in my opinion i'd rather have mark andre Fleury than martin jones but sometimes Martin Jones is like one of those goalies when if he makes a good saves and he gets hot, he's going to be solid. If he doesn't and he gets cold, he's not going to be good. It's kind of hard personally for me, but I'm going to go with San Jose in seven games just because I just their firepower and stuff. But I definitely think Vegas can win that. Nashville and Dallas. Let's go uh, Nashville, Dallas. Um, Nashville leads the series 3-2, but both of these, I mean, you look at their games, they've been really close. And uh, at the beginning, I'm like, why are people saying Dallas can beat Nashville? And then I obviously looking in in depth and stuff. Yeah, Dallas can beat Nashville. It's possible because you look at their games have been really close. Um, their games have been personally really close. Um, but honestly, I'm gonna go with Nashville in six games. I feel like the Predators will take care of Dallas. And then obviously next up we got Winnipeg and St. Louis, which is gonna be a killing matchup. Uh, as you can see, the Jets lead this three one. A lot of people think St. Louis can win this, and I mean, I, I get why people think that St. Louis can win this. I'm going to go with Winnipeg in, in, in seven games. Um, I'm going with Winnipeg just because of the regular season matchup, even though that is like regular season matchups don't mean they're irrelevant to playoffs. But I'm going to go with Winnipeg just because of the experience. Like I, like as much as Jordan Bennington has been really good this season, he hasn't been a playoff. He hasn't proved himself yet. Like if he does beat Winnipeg and he plays great, then I think he's proven himself. But right now... Like, he's kind of an unproven goaltender, especially in the playoffs. Like, I'm not saying he's not a good goalie. I'm just saying, like, he needs to play, like, the playoffs. So it's kind of like the Matt Murray situation. And if St. Like, I definitely think St. Louis can win this series, but I'm going to go with the Jets just because of that. So uh, over here, I got Tampa Bay sweeping Columbus. Now, if we look at their uh, regular season, Tampa Bay did sweep them, and Tampa Bay did dominate. Like, Tampa Bay dominated Columbus. So I have them sweeping the Blue Jackets, have a quick sweep. Um... Just because of the domination and obviously how good Tampa Bay has been playing this year, it's no questions. I've been sweeping them. Uh, Boston and Toronto. Um, interesting series. If we go to their matchup, Boston leads it 3-1. Boston has dominated two games, and then one of the games was close. So they've played two close games and then two dominant games for Boston. Uh, I'm going to personally go with the Bruins in seven games. I think Boston will beat the Toronto Maple Leafs in seven games. Um, I just feel like Boston... They're just mentally, they have an edge. Like, Toronto, like, I don't know. It's something with Toronto Maple Leafs mentally that they can't get over Boston. It's kind of like uh, the Toronto Raptors and the Cleveland Cavaliers thing. I don't know. It's just something like that. It's also like the Washington Pittsburgh thing from a few years ago. But I have Boston. Now, next up, Washington and Carolina. I see a lot of people saying Carolina. We look at the uh, ESPN thing. Washington has swept Carolina. I mean, they've been some close games. I think one of them wasn't close, but they play some really close games. Uh, I feel like this is going to be a really fun series to watch, but I have Washington uh, winning in six games. Um, just because, like, it's kind of like, if you remember from uh, 2017 when Washington took on Toronto, 
Um, it's kind of like that where Carolina's is still a really young team. And obviously, they don't like Peter Morazic, he's a good goaltender, but he isn't that like elite goalie. Look at Washington, they got the forward group with Ovechkin, Backstrom, and stuff. They have the defensive group with Carlson, and they have Brayden uh, Brayden Hopi and Net. They've got a really good team, and uh, Washington can actually win the Stanley Cup this year. They could go back to back, they have a really good team again. So, I have Washington winning in six, New York and Pittsburgh. So, a very interesting matchup. The series is actually tied. Um, you look at this series, it's going to be a fun series because one game New York dominated, the other Pittsburgh dominated, the other two games were close. So it's kind of, I definitely think this series is going to go seven games. It depends what I'm going to think is going to happen. Now, all of my series have not been upset. If you look at it, Calgary, San Jose, Nashville, Winnipeg, Tampa Bay, Boston, Washington. So I'm going to go with the Penguins uh, in seven games just because I need an upset. So I'm going to say the Penguins will beat the Islanders in seven games. And now Tampa Bay, Boston, this is going to be a pretty fun series to watch. Um, last year, I'm pretty sure Tampa Bay beat Boston in five or six games. I have that happening again. I have Tampa Bay beating Boston in five games. I just feel like Tampa Bay is so stacked this year. Like a lot of people think Tampa Bay might choke again, which is again, it's reasonable, but I feel like Tampa Bay, this is their year. Like, I just feel like they're so goddamn OP this season. Uh, I feel like this has to be their season and they have to win it this year. Washington and Pittsburgh. I have Washington beating Pittsburgh in six games. And I feel like, you know, I don't know. I just feel like the Washington Capitals will beat the Penguins. The Penguins are not uh, uh, that's, uh, Penguins are not that good this season. The only reason why I have them beating New York is because I need an upset. But um, I see Washington beating Pittsburgh or New York. Whichever team winds up against Washington, I have them beating them in six. Now, obviously, here, Nashville, Winnipeg. Uh, I got to go with the, uh, you know, this is going to be hard. I'm going to go with, mm, this is tough. Now, you look at Winnipeg and Nashville, I feel like, if it was St. Louis and Nashville, I feel like Nashville would beat St. Louis. But since it's Winnipeg, and we talk about last year, we look at last year's semifinals, Winnipeg beat Nashville in seven games. I feel like this game, this series will go seven games because they're both powerhouses in the Western Conference. Uh, I, I really wish the NHL goes to the one to eight. I don't like the division thing because then Toronto has to versus Boston, and I don't like it. I think it should be one to eight. Um, the eight best teams, you know, just like the like NBA or something. I think it should be like that. But I have, you know, this is such a hard series. And like, I don't know, like, this is so hard. Uh, this is such a hard series. And I, I'm personally just going to go with the Nashville Predators in seven games. I feel like the Predators will end up winning uh, this series and going on. All right. So over here, San Jose, Calgary. I have San Jose beating Calgary in seven games um, just because... If they beat Vegas, I feel like San Jose, the, they're going to have the momentum. Because you look at Calgary, Calgary just had a hard, uh, easy series against Colorado. San Jose, they won a tough seven games against Vegas, which means they got the momentum. They're feeling good about themselves. I feel like they'll transfer into this series, and I feel like San Jose will beat Calgary in seven games. Uh, unfortunately, there's going to be no Canadian teams in the Cup, which sucks. Um, and San Jose Nashville, I'm going to go with the uh, San Jose Sharks. I don't know. This is so tough. I'm going to go with the National Predators, and then I'm going to go with the Tampa Bay Lightning. Um, these are one of the two best teams, and I'm going to have the Tampa Bay Lightning winning the Stanley Cup. And I'm thinking they're going to be about 13 goals score. I'm going to go with lucky number 13. And obviously, I have Colorado 7-6-7-7-6-7-4. Seven, six, seven, seven, six, seven, so there's a lot of Game 7s I've chosen here, but that is my bracket. And uh, yeah, so hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, drop a like, subscribe. Catch you guys in the next one.